Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Amnesia Memories. I am the Alchemical Rabbit. And this is Atoli. When will that day come? Today? Tomorrow? If I tell you the truth, will you end up remembering everything? Will you remember the things that happened between us and how you really felt about me? I was scared. I averted my eyes from the truth. Sorry. I'm sure I could have helped a lot sooner. I didn't want you to remember anything. Even as we speak now, I'm still confused and hesitant. I don't want to tell you anything. I don't want you to remember. I want you to keep acting like this. Like we're a happy couple. I realize that way of thinking is just my own ego, but still... up to you. Uh, I mean, this is the thing I feel like... I'm gonna ask if it was really that bad. Like, he makes it seem like those three days were hell. What, do you think I should do this? I, I don't respond the same way to both questions. <laughs> you must make the choice. I mean, it is okay if I don't remember. Like, at this point, what does it matter? I suppose that's true. Come on, Atoli, you have to make a choice. Okay, go with that. Thank you, and I'm sorry. However, I know this is something I need to talk about. You're, you have every right to know exactly who you are. Maybe that was the correct answer. Hmm. So you were a university student who grew up in a very normal middle-class family in Japan. Your family lives some distance away, but you came to this city for college. I met you at a math study session planned by Sawa and mine. They invited me to be the lecturer. The name of the study session was something along the lines of, um, relearning basic math that's embarrassing to talk about people at this age. <laughs> Sounds about right. Anyway, I'm sure their aim was EQ. It seems they had asked him to be their lecturer first. EQ was in the same club as mine. I had heard many times before that she was looking for a way to get closer to him. But EQ introduced me instead, saying that I was far more suitable when it came to mathematics. He said he'd help out in some of my experiments concerning his condition, so I agreed to the lecture. You were one of the students participating at that time. Or dum dum. Because you were trying to get with EQ. We didn't get close during that class, though. Our ages were fairly far apart, and I was simply the teacher, and you were simply the dum-dum. However, after getting to recognize you... Or, after getting to recognize who you were, I realized that we walked the same path at about the same time every morning. I was... taking... I was taking walks as a change of lifestyle from being shut in the lab, and... You were walking your dog. We have a dog? Oh my god, have we been feeding it? <laughs> That's a very good question. <laughs> like, this has never come up before. It's been 18 days that dog is so dead. <laughs> Where is our dog? Spot! Hello? Here's Spot. <laughs> After realizing you knew me, you would talk to me every day. There's no special reason why our relationship was so rocky. I anger people fairly. I anger people easily, so it was normal for people to dislike me. The one thing that was different, though, is that you never gave up on talking to me. No matter how many times we argued, you never learned your lesson. You'd still try to start up conversations. To this day, I'm still not sure if I should call them disputes or debates. Regardless, I'm sure you were trying to get to know me better. That perseverance is one thing that still hasn't changed in you, though. Anyway, because of that situation, even after the study sessions ended, we'd see each other and argue every morning. Like a married couple. You were really right? surprised when I asked you out to... That's a stereotype, right? Do we argue that much? We argue? Yes. Yes! No? Yes! No! 
No! No! Oh! Oh! Stop hitting me! Oh! Okay. Okay. You were really surprised when I asked you out. <laughs> I like how you like to make me out to be like this abusive girlfriend. What you think I'm the abusive girlfriend? Yeah, you're clearly a girlfriend. Oh yep. my! <laughs> <laughs> you were really surprised when I asked you out. Oh my god, was I? I still don't really know myself why I chose you. Maybe because I'm also a dum dum, and we can be dum 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 together. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I could only see my feelings for you as being romantic in nature, and that's why I asked you. It could be nothing else. It could be nothing else. As a female, there is no other relationship possible other than that. Obviously. You were very shocked. It was only natural. The only thing we had done before then was argue. And I'm sure you don't remember now why you decided to accept my request. Uh, I suppose you could just say it was the heat of the moment. Uh-huh. It looked almost like you had accepted a challenge. You still remember nothing. <gasps> I remember. Yes, I remember. What? I said I can only see my feelings towards you as being romantic in nature. And if a man has romantic feelings for a woman, his response should be to ask her out. That's what I thought. That's what I did. Wait, wait a minute. You said yourself before that love is just something created by chemicals in the brain. I did, and I still believe that. Then why? What's wrong with chemicals? At present, there are changes commonly known as love occurring in my brain. That is the truth. And I'm interested in these changes. I want to analyze whether this really is a romantic emotion or not, and if it is, exactly what changes will occur. So, Atoli, do you have romantic feelings for anyone right now? Not really, but... Then there should be no problem. Would you like to date me? It's like an experiment. Why should I have to cooperate with something like that? If you don't want to, that's fine. But I thought you wanted to preach to me about the existence and meaning of love. I mean, isn't this the perfect chance? I believe romantic emotions are merely a product of intracell... Cerebral? Nope. Cerebral? Yes. Intracerebral chemicals, a part of one's instinct to preserve its species. However, you say that love doesn't need to have a reason. If, as you say, the emotion known as love is a higher power beyond such reason and calculation, I'd like you to make me believe it. If you manage to prove to me that you are correct, I promise to hold your emotional arguments in higher regard. If I don't see any drawbacks to this proposition, I do not see any drawbacks to this proposition on your part. But I don't like you. I fully understand your dislike of me. More than I'd like to, in fact. Actually, the word dislike may not describe it well enough. I could even say that I am hated by you. That is what I believe, and I am correct. But would you give up on preaching the higher meaning of love just because you detest a man? Right. I didn't like Kent. But after hearing the logic of his argument, I couldn't find a good reason to refuse him. I got irritated and accepted it. That's what happened three days before I lost my memories. I see. It was only natural for Kent to see my attitude as suspicious. What is it? Do you remember something? I'm sure it wasn't a favorable memory in regards to us. I really doubt that the previous me could have sat down and talked calmly with Kent like this. There's no way you have any memories favorable of me. If I didn't lose my memories, I might never have seen Kent make such a sad face in front of me. And I like seeing him in pain. Clearly. That was kind of depressing. It was a little depressing. We're mean. Yeah, but Kent's also kind of... That's why I said we're mean. I mean, I was going to say, sort of, like, controlling. A little bit. 
Hey, uh, Atoli? Can you see me? Can you hear my voice? Hello? Ah! Good, you finally looked! That was a surprise. You haven't responded to me at all since yesterday, so I thought you couldn't see me anymore. Anyway, it looks like you were still con were still connected. You talked to Ken a lot yesterday and remembered a bunch of things. It looks like we're making progress and separating. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm happy that things are going the way we wanted, but... Doesn't your relationship with Kent seem really strange? I feel really irresponsible if I was just like, Mission complete! And left you like this. Of course, I want to be separated, but I also want to see you off into a good fortune. That's just how I feel. By the way, your relationship. I guess we can just say that Kent's love towards you was one-sided? I'm glad that he didn't have any intentions of dragging you off to the hospital, but... Maybe he's also thinking that he doesn't want you to remember. Hmm, you still feel kind of dizzy, don't you? Maybe it's a shock from remembering all those memories at once. You have work today. Will you be alright? Try not to push yourself too hard. Anyway, let's head over now. Wink. Winky face. Winky face. Hey, so I heard the rumor about you cheating on Kent with Ukyo is gaining more ground. Oh god, not that all right at all. Now that I think about it, Ukyo hasn't come by the cafe lately. Have you been having your trysts with him in the great outdoors? Love that face. I in want... the great outdoors. I, I want to date Sawa. Can, can I date Sawa? Sure. <laughs> I doubt being threatened on the street at night could be considered a tryst. Tryst. Oh, I'm so jealous. Why are you so popular with the guys? It's because I got big boobs. Mm. Is it still popular if it's only one guy? Yeah, but Sawa is really hot, though, so... Well, that's fair. That reminds me, I wonder if Kent will come by today to pick you up. What should you do if you see him? Act normal? What if you were, like, having a fling with Ukyo before all this? All day worrying about it, and now it's already evening. That would be weird. Hey. Let's go home. Kent, is everything okay? You've gone back into robot voice. I have returned back to experiment mode. Ugh, I feel dizzy. That's right. I always walked alongside Kent like this. But those times... I didn't really like those times. Seriously, man, how many belts do you need? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, I count? Did you get the one that's going around his torso? Uh, no. I- no. Listen, he's got a lot of belts, okay? Yes, he does. How long are you going to act like that? Atoli, what happened? Jesus. Collapse. <laughs> Christ. Broke took some bump. <laughs> no. I don't want to remember. Hey, Atoli, are you okay? Atoli! Pull yourself together! Do not die! <laughs> you whack me. Atoli, are you awake? Um, fine. I mean, I know why he's here, right? He brought me home. Yeah, uh, I see. Well... I had gone to get water, and during that time, you lost consciousness, so I panicked. I lost my composure. I apologize. Huh? Are you half asleep or something? Do you remember collapsing? You collapsed while you were walking home. You managed to make it home, but you lost consciousness. Kent was worried. That's why he's like this. Your fatigue must have been building up. You've had to stay on your toes all this time. It might be best to take tomorrow off from work and rest. How do you feel? You look really pale. 
I'm sorry, this is my fault. You don't have to remember things about... things that you don't want to remember, although that may just be my desires talking. Is it so bad to keep things the way they are now? I mean, do you absolutely need to remember, really? Even if your memories would destroy the relationship we have, you know, I mean, this is the most important thing in the world. Screw memories of your childhood, or passions, or friends who don't immediately work with you, or siblings. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I suppose you can't do that. I'm sure you want to regain your memories. That's only natural. It's just as Kent says. You can't just sit by and not remember anything. If you don't try to retrieve your memories, your consciousness will invade... My consciousness will invade yours more and more. If you don't remember your past and separate from me, your life will turn into a total mess. You'll just turn into Orion. <laughs> That'll surprise Kent. Mm. I feel bad for Kent. And it's possible that you don't want to remember either, but... You can't not remember these things. Drama. I know, gosh, Orion. I'll remember, jeez. August 20th. My god, we have 11 days. Ding dong! Mm -hmm. Looks like someone's here, I wonder if it's Kent. Come on, Ukyo. Can you get up? Think you can walk to the door? Good morning. Do you mind if I come in? Uh, of course, I don't mind if you stay in bed. You don't have any family around, right? I came here to look after you. Don't you have, like, a conference yeah. to be preparing for? How are you feeling? Do you think you can eat? I brought nutritious and sweet foods that are easy to eat. A simple and effective way to replenish stamina. I'll get you some water. Don't worry about me, you just lay down. Okay. Ken is really nice. I really... He really is like a different person from when we first met. I wonder if Kent changed. Or maybe he was always a nice guy if you never got mad at him. But he was saying things like he used to being disliked. In that case, Kent must have changed completely in the past three weeks. Good job! You've accomplished every girl's dream. That conference is really important to him, but he's here taking care of you instead of repairing. Look at him blush. Look at him be blushing. <laughs> Yep, and he's, he's not... actually the one who's falling for Kent. It's actually gonna be we're gonna separate, and he's gonna he's gonna be fully in love. Yeah, and you're gonna and be you're, like, wait, what the hell was I doing? <laughs> yep. Oh, are you dizzy? Sorry, now's not the time to be thinking deeply. Just just sleep. It's okay. I'll keep watch and make sure Kent doesn't try anything funny. It's totally not an aneurysm that you're having in your prefrontal <laughs> cortex. That I'm a manifestation of. <laughs> Good night, Atoli. Is Orion about to turn evil? I don't know. Is Orion turning evil? Atoli! What's wrong? Are you okay? Ah! Oh. Sorry, you were just sleeping. Th that was a shock. I can't tell if he's taking care of you or making you more tired. Just please, try not to die. He's not dying, jeez! Listen, just don't go anywhere. I'll do anything for your sake. Okay, buddy, calm down. At first, this relationship was simply engaging my interest. I thought it would be fine if we broke up eventually. But and I, now I never want to leave you. And now I, I know now what it's like to be with you. I couldn't bear to lose you. Oh, no. Or do you wish to go to a hospital? Or should I call a doctor here? If there's anything I can do, just let me know. Okay, you can stop freaking out. I'm just tired. Ah, I just want to tell him. I want to tell him why you're so exhausted and why you can't go to the hospital. I want to tell him that not having anything to jog your memories is the most dangerous thing. You agree, don't you? You can see just how much Kent's worried about you. He said that you could ask him for anything. I wonder if that includes asking him to believe in the existence of... spirits. Probably not. I doubt it. I mean, he already didn't believe in the power of love. 
What is it? Is there something you need? Listen, I'm just having some more conversations with the demon in my brain, okay? Well then. Maybe we'll be able to convince him of something next time, Atoli. Also, I'm just curious. What are we setting on parameters right now? Ah, uh, suspicion. Trust is going up. I wonder if, like, if we max all three, we win. Maybe. Hoping so. But we'll find out maybe that next time, ladies and gentlemen. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, I have been the Alchemical Rabbit. And this has been Atoli. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>